Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do makeup, skincare. I'm also gonna show you a few of my favorite things that may not be technically skincare, uh, but are things that I do use that kind of have to do with skin, beauty, all that good stuff. So strap in, get you a good little coffee or beverage. This may be a long video. I am fully fresh faced. This is how I wake up. Freckles are on display. <laughs> uh, my hair isn't even done. It's a rainy day, but I have washed my face. So I'm gonna show you what I used to wash my face. I used to use cleanser. I don't use cleanser anymore. I used to use the Clinique take the day off. And if I have done something like gone to a formal event or something and I have a ton of makeup on, then I still may use that. But on the day today, this is what I use. So these are the makeup erasers. I get mine from Nordstrom. I've had these for almost two years and they still look brand new. And they literally take everything off and you don't have to use any cleanser or anything like that. Uh, and then you just throw them in the wash, just like a wash rag. I do wash mine separately. I hand wash them in the sink just because <laughs> I want to take care of them, make them last for a long time because these aren't super expensive, but they're not cheap. Now there are different versions of these now. I think Walmart carries a version, uh, Ulta, there are cheaper versions and they probably work just as well, but I've had these, like I said, for about two years now. Today I'm just wearing a regular headband. This is from Etsy. So once I've washed my face, then I get to my skincare. Now I don't use all of these products every single day. Usually it's about once a week usually on Sunday that I do a full skincare routine. So the very first thing I'm gonna show you is something I do at night. I don't do this in the morning. This is called Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. And it basically is, um, I'll just read you what it says. Lactic acid exfoliates dull pore clogging dead skin and intensely clarifies, revealing smoother, clear skin. So I do use this about once a week, but I put it on at night. So I'm not gonna put this on right now. Another thing I put on at night, and I've had this for a very long time. This is the Tula Wrinkle Treatment Drops Retinol Alternative. So it's not retinol, but it's supposed to work similarly. Uh, Tula is a really good brand, pretty clean ingredients. Now I will say, if you go buy this, I do love this stuff. It's almost empty. <laughs> well, it is, I think it is empty. I might need a new one. It comes with a glass dropper. I dropped this and I broke it. So now I just tap it into my hand, but this is, <laughs> this is completely empty. I need a new one. So that just shows you how much I like it. It is empty. But I've had this uh, about a year. It's lasted me about a year, so. A nourishing mask, also by Tula. This is the Self Care Sunday Soothing Fresh Mask, uh, Soothing Face Mask. And I just use as directed, leave it on my skin for just a little bit, and then I wipe it off and then rub it, the rest into my face. It's kind of a, got a cooling um, sensation to it. Again, good clean product. I really love the Tula brand. All right, so let's get into what I actually use on the day to day. This is my face oil from Tarte, another fairly clean brand. Uh, it's just uh, Moroccan oil and a few essential oils as well. Put a few drops in my hand, rub that around. Also put it on my hands too. And then I push that into my face, even put it on my lips. And that just, I really love using face oil. Even um, those of you with oily skin, this is still good for your skin. Um, common misconception that you shouldn't put oil on oily skin, it's actually the opposite. When you wash all the oil off, then your body thinks it needs to make more and it actually produces more. So, it's super good for moisturizing. If I am tanning my face, which I'm not today, this is the tanner I use and I mix a few drops of this with this and that's what I use for my face tanner. I do get quite tan in the summer, but my face doesn't. I just get more freckles. So I really like this. I've just started using it, but it's really good. It just takes a little. I think I use like three drops. 
got this at Sephora. I'll link everything in the description for you guys. So this is my lip scrub from Young Living. It's the Poppy Seed Lip Scrub, chemical free. This is what it looks like. You just take a little bit on your finger, rub it on your lips, and that kind of gets all the dead skin off, but this is really nice. And I've already done that today, but just wanted to mention that. Also, if I am having a breakout, this is what I use. My skin is pretty good. I did go through a little bit of time where I had cystic acne. I started using this, this really works. It's got um, salicylic acid in it. It's from the brand Sunday Riley and it's green. It's got tea tree oil and a whole bunch of other good stuff in it. It literally is green. It's kind of cool, it's like a magic potion. But I love this, it really dries up pimples. So once I've let the oil sit on my face, I will go in with a primer. I use the Tula primer, but I also like the Laura Mercier. Now, if you're going for like chemical free clean products, this is the way to go. It has a tint to it. It kind of like forms to your skin. So there's different um, colors. I think I get the two, uh, but this is the Tula filter primer, blurring and moisturizing primer base. I just put a few squirts like this. And then I rub that into my skin. And that just helps my makeup kind of stick to my face a little bit better. My skin looks nice and glowy and dewy. <laughs> All right, so I will let this sit on my face for a few minutes as well. Um, a lot of you ask if I still use my micro needle derma roller, and yes, I do. I use this maybe once or twice a month. I can do a whole video on this specifically because it takes quite a bit of time to do your whole face. Highly recommend this, but there are cheaper versions. I will link them in the description. This one does have a red light, which they say is good for your skin, and it has a slight vibration, which kind of distracts you from the teeny tiny needles. I don't know if you can see that. They're super teeny tiny. But yes, I do still use that. I go back and forth on using a beauty blender and a foundation brush. I don't really have a favorite. It's just like what I'm feeling at the time. Right now I'm using the beauty blender more. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing for the past few weeks because I've had a lot of you ask me. So this is Savvy Minerals Chemical Free Concealer. It is from Young Living. I do sell Young Living. So I'll put my link in the description. Um, I've been using Young Living for a really long time. They came out with makeup a few years ago. It wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. And so I stopped using it, but they have improved their formulas recently. And so I'm back on the wagon because I do want to be as chemical free as possible. It's impossible to be completely chemical free, but you know, small changes and all that good stuff. So this is in the color, my hands are all greasy. Light number two. There is a way to kind of pick your shade. I will link that article for those of you who are interested. I always say go a shade lighter than what you think because you can always add bronzer and things like that. If you go darker, it's, <laughs> it's never good. So. Just a little goes a long way. I'll go ahead and start with my concealer. Put it under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, kind of around my nostril area. I have a few little leftover blemishes. So I'll, probably, I'll pat those down and then I also just do along my chin. And then my forehead. Then I go in with my wet beauty blender and I just pat that out. Along my under eyes. And then I also do it on my eyelid. That just makes my eyeshadow stay on better. Background. All right. I 
I already look better. <laughs> And then for my foundation, I was using, and I still love it. I still love it. The Armani Luminous Silk, amazing. It is dewy, it is glowy, uh, it's not heavy at all. It just gives you enough coverage. This is what I've been using this one. This is in the shade 5.2 for about a year now, since the Nordstrom, or the last Sephora sale. So about a year. Uh, it's almost empty as well. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'm trying to do better and be cleaner. This is absolutely not chemical free, although it is amazing. And their tinted moisturizer is really good too. So if you're someone who's just like, listen, I've given up plenty of things, makeup. I'm going to stay with the quote unquote better stuff. I do highly recommend these too, but I have changed back to the Young Living Foundation. They have a liquid and they have a powder. I actually use both. Um, I always give it a good shake because it is quite thin and this helps kind of just to remix everything. I'm using Sand Beige. That is the color I'm using. All right, and then I just squirt it on my beauty sponge. I do like two pumps and then I pat it kind of just all over and then I blend it in. All the way down under my chin. I do let this sit on my skin for a few minutes to give it some time to kind of settle and dry because this is a pretty wet foundation. And then I kind of pat it in just a little bit more. <clears throat> As you can see, you can st still see my freckles. So it's not full coverage. Uh, you can build it up to be more full coverage if you want to. It's just not really how I like to do it. Okay, so after that's set for just a minute, I will go in with the powder foundation. This is warm number two color mineral makeup you just tap into the lid that now i do use my foundation brush for this so i will stick it in there swirl it around tap it off and then i pat it i don't swirl it i pat it And then I also use a setting powder on top of the foundation. So there, this is also from Young Living. I've literally had this for forever. These things last a very long time. Here's my newer one. So I have the Mineral Veil Diamond Dust. This is my favorite. So if you like glowy, you're gonna want the diamond dust. If you don't like the glowy look, then they also have a matte version for those of you who don't really want to have that super glowy shiny look but that's not for everybody so i'm going to use the diamond dust because that's what i like i'm literally almost out of this but when i say i've been using this container forever it really has been forever all right so then i go in with a super big powder brush swirl around and then i just go over whole face with the diamond dust. And that is my foundation. This is my very favorite bronzer ever. Physician's Formula, which is also fairly clean. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Um, I like the color. It's got the number 6676 on it. It's not their darkest, it's not their lightest, but it doesn't have shimmer to it. Some of them have shimmer. I don't like shimmer in my bronzer. I like it matte. So this is a matte bronzer. Then I go in with a blush brush. These are just from Ulta, they're nothing special. So we go around and then I go right, I mean, almost on top of my cheekbone, but a little bit under. Of 
the top of my forehead into my hairline. Also under my chin and down my neck. I like to contour. Contouring is not for everybody, but I I like it. It's uh, I've been doing contouring for a long time. Wasn't always that great at it. Okay, looking back at some photos, I'm like, <laughs> I'm much lighter handed with my contour. But I do take this little brush here. This is from it brushes from Ulta. Just tap it just in like that. Very. You can even like bump it. Don't blow on your brush. I used to do that, it's disgusting, don't do that. And then I go, not really on the side of my nose, kind of just on the top side. And that's where I do my contour and then I come down like this. Can you see the difference? Can you see that? And I do it again on the other side. Like I said, not really on the side of my nose, on the top. Again, and then down, down here, down here. I'm gonna also go tip of my nose, just a little bit more definition. I like to contour, like I said, not everybody wants to do this. You don't have to. I don't think my nose is ugly. I just enjoy doing this. It's like art. Picasso. I like it, you know, okay? And then I also go down. And then I take a fluffier brush, like this right here. It's just an eyeshadow brush. And then I just kinda like blend that in so it's not harsh at all. And I also do the same thing under my lip. And that just gives the illusion of like a fuller bottom lip. Speaking of lips, I had a few people ask me if I've had anything done. Um, I've never had fillers. I have had Botox. I will probably have Botox again. Uh, I just don't like the look of fillers myself. But I have had Fibroblast Lip Flip on my top lip. If I have any pictures, I'll put them in. But there is a video on my main channel of me having the lip flip done. And what they do is take a little burn device it burns tiny little holes and when the holes heal they heal together like this and it pulls your lip up very subtly uh, it is labeled permanent however um, skin ages so things will change I would like to have it done event again eventually because I do quite like the fuller upper, upper lip but not the look of filler you know what I mean. It's a much more natural, fuller lip as opposed to like, you know, that. Which some people love that look. I just, I just don't like it myself. Okay, so after I do my minimal contouring, I go in with a blush, also from Young Living. This is, I do believe you're blushing. This is my favorite. They have several other colors, blushes and bronzers. Um, I've tried several of them. This is always the one I come back to. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it. So I just tap just a bit in there and I go in with this kind of brush right here. Pat it, swirl it. Tap, 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 tap. Cause I don't want a lot on there, right? Not a whole lot of excess. And then I just really go right on the apple of my cheek and up, above and pull that up and that just gives a really nice soft rosy glow and then sometimes I even do that on my nose. This is a really subtle great color. Love this. Really like that color. Then I do my highlighter. This is not chemical free. I have yet to find a good chemical free highlighter that really gives that pop that I like. 
Uh, I used to use the Becca brand. They have went out of business. I do still have Champagne Pop. I'm saving it for special occasions. But this is by Terry uh, Light, Beauty Light Wand. And this is the color Pillow Talk. I also have Lipstick Pillow Talk. And Lip Liner. You see that along the bridge of my nose. On the tip of my nose. I'm going to pat it in my finger. Again, not everybody likes the look of highlighter, but I do. Um, if I'm going for a more formed contour, I will go in again afterwards and do a little bit more just to kind of give that pop down the center and then um, a little extra something something okay so that is my base my blush all that good stuff now let's go into the eyes I've had my eyebrows microbladed in the past it has been a very long time um, you can see it's pretty faded I really need a touch up but I'm just like whatever I don't care at this point I'll get them done uh, probably after I have this baby that I'm pregnant with Technically, it's a tattoo. Um, highly recommend finding a very good person to do this. This can go terribly wrong. I, I have a wonderful eyebrow girl who goes very light-handed, very delicate. It looks very natural. Um, the only reason this looks the way that it does is because it's faded. And it still doesn't even really look that bad, honestly. She just goes with your natural brow. brow. So this is what my brows look like anything on them just plain clean brows okay but I do like a little extra all right so I've used a lot of brow things over the years I keep coming back to this one this is from benefit it is the gimme brow plus all that's kind of rubbed off on this this is the travel tester size um, I cannot remember what color this is in I think it's just like a medium brown. I start on the outside. And then I come in. Same thing on the other side. You can see it's just, it's not really that big of a difference. It's just a little bit fuller. Same thing, start on the outside. Come. That's my brows. Super simple, very easy to use. I don't always use eyeshadow, and sometimes I actually use my bronzer as eyeshadow, especially if I'm traveling and I don't want to take a full palette or whatever. Although this is pretty easy to travel with. This is Young Living. This is the Sunset, I think is what it's called. Oh, Golden Hour Palette, and it comes with four different colors comes with a brush I don't use that brush <laughs> palettes never come with good brushes so I like to use the dawn and the horizon so I go in with the dawn first on my lid and I do that all over my lid as you can see it's not super crazy it's just a good base color And then Horizon, I just did that and I go in to the crease just to give a little bit more dimension. I know this is a longer video, but I promise you guys this doesn't actually take me maybe 10 minutes to do when I'm not <laughs> chattering on and showing the products and talking about them. This is not a long process at all. All right, that is my lids. I do not have a chemical free lash primer. There is one that I like by Jane Jane Eyre. I think it's what it, the brand is called, Jane Eyre. Um, but I ran out of that a long time ago and I just haven't bought any more. This is Clinique. I always do a primer before I do my mascara. That's it for a second. 
but not a long, long time. Some people let it completely dry. I don't. I find that it does better if I don't let it completely dry. Uh, the mascara I'm using today is from Young Living. They came out with one a few years ago and I hated it. And this is a newer formula. It is the volumizing. And I've, whoop, my main problem was the brush on the original mascara they came out with. I didn't like it, but this one, I like it a lot. So, huzzah. I'm thrilled that they finally came out with a good chemical free mascara. I'm very, very picky with my mascara. It does remind me of the Too Faced mascara. So there is no mascara and mascara, which I have pretty good lashes. Can you see? It's pretty good. Um, and especially for it to be a clean product. I'm very happy with that. All right. So that's my eyes. Done. The very last thing I do is my lips. This is my favorite lip pencil. Well, my second favorite. Actually, my first favorite is Spice by MAC. But that one is a little bit dark for everyday wear. Um, I also have a cherry for like special occasions and I like it pretty good too. I haven't found a really good chemical free lip liner. This is the one that I use for now. So... I do overline just a smidge, not anything crazy. I used to go crazy with overlining. So that's my lips lined. And then I have several good chemical free lipsticks that I just found. Um, this is from the brand Bite. So Bite, you can actually find at Sephora, but I bought from their main website. And they are um, famous for, you can eat their products. That's how clean they are. Food grade makeup. This is quite a pretty wine color, but you know, we're not going for that today. And I also have a bright, this is a pink color. This is so pretty on. We're, it's actually orange. It's called Orange Fizz. I'm not going to go for that today, but I did the other day and it was gorgeous. If I can find the picture, I'll insert it here. Then this is the lip liner, but I don't love it. It's very thick, but it's a very pretty color. And then this is the one that I like. This is the Guava Puff Plumping Lip Gloss. And you just twist it and a little bit comes out right there. Can you see that? very pretty color. Good for every day or if you want to dress it up like this is a really good color. So I really like that one. And then the Young Living color that I like is called It Girl. This is it. And it looks pinker than it actually is. It goes on almost sheer with just a little bit of color. So that's why I like it. I don't really like a bold lip for everyday wear. But that one is nice for just like it's almost like a chapstick with a color. All right, and then for those of you who don't give a crap about chemical free makeup and you just want a really good lip, this is my favorite. Charm from Kylie Cosmetics. This is my travel one. I have a bigger one too. That's how much I like it. And this is very drying. Okay, so you need to moisturize your lips. It has bold staying power. And most of the time, this is the color that I am wearing. If we are out and about, I love it. Charm. And then there's another color that she makes, um, Candy K. This is actually my favorite. I prefer Candy K, but I like Charm too. This is a little bit more brown and Charm is a little bit more pink, if you can tell. But I really like them both. So, those are the matte ones that I would recommend. I really love those. So that's it. 
that is my full face of makeup. What do you think? Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you smash that thumb, leave me a comment, tell me if you will be buying any of these uh, choice pieces of makeup. And yeah, I will link everything in the description, like I said, and you can also shop everything at my Like to Know It profile, which will also be linked in the description. And I think that that's goddess. Very, very glowy. I'm very into that look, so. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.